right. Let's do this, boys. It's a few minutes past seven as Lana Leghart pulls her hybrid SUV out of the driveway. Everybody buckled? It's her day to make the seven mile trek north to Mission Vista High School. Five kids from the neighborhood won spots at the magnet school through a lottery. But like much of Vista Unified, there's no bus service to get them there. Is it like, worth it? Is yeah. it worth a drive? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> the district cut school bus routes several years ago to save costs. Many students pay to take a North County <laughs> Transit District bus to school, but... Our closest bus stop, we just passed it. It's 1.2 miles, is that right, you guys? I think, I think it's 1.2 miles away from the school, and they would have to walk along this road. This is Highway 76. There are no sidewalks. And the Mission Vista handbook actually says students should not walk along Highway 76 to get to school. It's not safe. So over the summer, Lake Hart and her neighbors put their heads together. We talked about getting a 15 passenger van, putting a bunch of kids on there, <clears throat> and all the parents would rotate through, but where do we park the van and who pays for insurance and who's liable if there's an accident? They researched shuttle services, no go. Somebody researched Uber. Again, wouldn't work. So my friend Amanda finally sat down and figured out a spreadsheet of five day a week, morning, afternoon carpool schedule. And now I only drive twice a week, which is beautiful. It's like a dream. But somebody every morning and every afternoon has to be in that traffic. And Lake Hart says that traffic has gotten bad. What should take 20 minutes can now take 45 as more and more families crisscross Vista to get to the school of their choice instead of walking to the neighborhood school. I sat at the corner of just outside the school at the beginning of the school year and I counted 586 cars coming out and that wasn't even the whole traffic period. I was told that if I really wanted a true count, I should get there around 6.45 and stay until 8 o'clock. I haven't done that yet because I don't want to get to school at 6.45. <laughs> Lake Hart petitioned the district last year to bring back busing. The board reinstituted its transportation committee in response. It also tallied the number of middle and elementary school students who travel farther than one and a half miles to school. 750. And tonight, it's considering a $1.2 million plan to add new routes. Superintendent Linda Kimball says that initiative is to ensure access to schools and safety. Vista has a lot of winding country roads without sidewalks. I think equity and access are um, big questions and big concerns. And so we've been looking, actually I took a walk to school with parents the other day, to see how far the walking radiuses were and whether there was access for a parent maybe who didn't have a vehicle and how we could write that situation. Yeah, it's 7.23, we made great time considering we left the house at 7.05 and we are almost there. We have yet to see what the drop off line looks like. Leg Hart says she worries about something else. The bigger concern for me is the environment. She isn't alone. Recently, local environmentalists and lawmakers have wondered what school choice might mean for efforts to cut greenhouse gas emissions. The Environmental Protection Agency looked into it in 2008 and found a seven-mile drive like Leghart's emits six to nine times more carbon per capita than a bus that's carrying dozens of children. Not too shabby, guys. If passed, the new busing program would not serve high schools, meaning Leghart's carpool isn't done just yet. I'm really looking forward to when Alex can drive himself. But she says it could mean fewer people on the road and more smooth trips like today's. See you later. Megan Burks, KPBS News.